So in this screencast, we're going to pick up right where we left off with example 11.3. So as we proceeded through and got a uh, form of our profit function and also did a material balance on the system, now we're going to go right into simplifying the profit function. And so now our profit function with our material balances in it simplifies to this parameter v0, which is the value of our product, times the molar flow rate of b over the molar flow rate of A coming in. Now note, this quotient is going to be equal to XB, okay, that cubed, times the molar flow rate of B being produced, minus C0 times N dot A feed. This can be then changed into N dot A feed, times the quantity V0, n dot b over n dot a feed, now to the fourth power, minus c0. Okay, but note that n dot b from our material balance is just c dot, right? But in addition to that, c dot divided by n dot a feed, which is the quantity that we have here in this parentheses, is equal to just k over d plus k. Okay, so that's going to be important because when we simplify this further, our profit function, so that we can just get out everything as a function of n dot a feed, we then have v0 times to the fourth power k over d plus k minus c0. This is important because we can express d in terms of n dot a feed, like so. So note that d equals v dot over v. v dot is equal to the molar flow rate of A coming in times its molecular weight divided by its density. Now we're going to go ahead and assume that the density doesn't change when A gets converted into B. And of course the molecular weight doesn't change because A gets converted directly into B. Okay, so throughout the density is going to be constant. So as we massage this, D is going to be equal to N dot A feed times the molecular weight M divided by rho v. Now just first to simplify things, I'm going to call this parameter here alpha, but what you note if you want to know what this is physically, alpha e is equal to one over the number of total moles in your reactor at any time. <clears throat> okay, so once we have this function for d, what we finally get for a profit function is phi is equal to n dot a feed times v0 k over alpha n dot a feed plus k raised to the fourth power minus c0. So that's our profit function as a function of n dot a feed. Now of course what we're going to have to do eventually is differentiate this function so that we can use f0 to find where this derivative of this function becomes zero. Of course that's going to be where one of the um, where the profits function is going to either be maximized or minimized or maybe hit an inflection point but that's a rare occurrence in, in physical systems. <clears throat> so in this example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and let C0 equal 50 cents per mole of A. That'll be the cost for buying it. The value of selling our product is $30 per mole of B. So that's a great conversion there. <laughs> and alpha is going to be this parameter equal to 0 0.00075 per mole, okay? So when you do that, what you find, if you just plot this function phi, right here, as a function of Na feed, what you get is a maximum in your profit function near where n dot a feed equals 40. So if we want to find this maximum precisely, it's going to take these computational methods, which we're about to employ with F0. So we're going to go ahead and calculate this derivative. So then we have phi prime as a function of n dot a feed and we're going to have to employ the product rule, so it's the derivative of the first times the second. So the second would be v0 times that of quotient there, minus c0. And then you have the second part of the product rule, plus the first times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of what's inside the square brackets. 
And so C0 isn't, doesn't have n dot a feed in it, so that's not going to carry over into the derivative. But inside here, we're going to have V0 times the derivative of this part with respect to n dot a feed. So that'll be 4 times this part, this quotient, to the third power. So that's just the power rule. And then times then the derivative of what's inside the parentheses with respect to n dot a feed, which then would be k over alpha n dot a feed plus k with the bottom part squared. Oops, there's a minus sign here, minus k, like that. And so those are the two parts of our derivative. Now, of course, we can um, continue to make this even simpler, where the second term then simplifies to 4 k to the fourth v0 n dot a feed all divided by alpha n dot a feed plus k raised to the fifth power. Well, at any rate, uh, this is what our derivative will look like. And so all we have to do is make a function that f0 can call upon, which has this v0, uh, sorry, which has this um, phi prime in it. So using f0 to achieve this task, we find that the derivative crosses 0 right about here, where we exactly where the maximum was in the uh, in phi. And we find that n dot a phi optimal is equal to 41.6 moles per second. <clears throat> yes, okay, sorry, to see how that plays out in MATLAB, what I've done here is I've made the function that we want to, uh, that is the derivative of phi, so that's what we have here. And it accepts as input parameters your kinetics, your alpha parameter, your value of your product, and your cost of your um, raw material, and then n, which um, is how, uh, what this power is here. I know I've define this thing called c hat, which is k over alpha n a phi plus k, just to simplify things because it appears several times in the equation. And it's a nice um, physical intuition. Okay, and in addition to that, so there's your function, and then here's what our script looks like. Um, some comments up here, closing all the um, figures. We have now defined what all of our um, physical parameters are. The first thing we're going to do is use a graphical method to get a good handle on things. So we're going to plot first the um, profits function as a function of NA feed, then the derivative of the profits function as a function of NA feed. Then we're going to take an initial guess, which is based on our uh, graphical method. Of course, we could start at about 40, but to make things interesting, let's go ahead and start with 50. Then we're going to call f, oops, this is supposed to be f0 from within Oops, F0, we're just going to call it once, no for loop. Bad of me to copy everything over. Okay, so um, when I go ahead and run the script, what's going to pop up is a couple figures, and then it's going to display what the optimal feed rate of NA feed is. So run the script. And the two figures that pop up first, you have the one that I already showed you where it looks like, the here's the profit function, looks like the maximum is about here. Here's the derivative of the profits function, which again is concurrent with that, showing where the maximum is going to be. And then um, MATLAB spits out what the actual optimal feed rate is, about 41 moles per second. 